Friday, February 10th, and it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. We've had a busy week at the North Carolina General Assembly. We've now cleared 11 calendared legislative days, but I've got two big updates for you this week. The first one's a federal update. We heard from CMS this week when they approved North Carolina's state plan amendments to actually withdraw the rate cut that has been looming over us for the last couple of years. That's the 1% rate cut enacted by the General Assembly that we've been waiting to hear whether that was going to go into effect, whether it was going to be retroactive or not for a long time now. CMS agreed, Department of Health and Human Services agreed, legislators agreed that the impact that that 1% rate cut was going to have was going to be too great, so it was withdrawn. So thank you to you as members of the Medical Society, thank you to family physicians and the pediatricians that all contributed questions and concerns about the, the access impact that this rate cut would have, and because of your work, now we're not going to see this rate cut go into effect. So congratulations. That is where advocacy works, and it's a great thing to celebrate. We don't get to celebrate that often. At the General Assembly this week, we've been talking about the scope of practice threat that we talked briefly about last Friday, and I want to go into a little more detail. House Bill 36 allows optometrists, or would allow optometrists, to perform surgery for the first time in North Carolina. This is something that has only been done in three other states in the entire union. And it's something that the North Carolina Medical Society, the eye physicians and surgeons, as well as countless other specialties, insurance companies, the acad academic medical centers all oppose. We think that the optometrists have an expanded scope of practice already by being able to prescribe drugs and do various injections, but surgery is a push too far, and especially using lasers and scalpels. It's just something we can't uh, see justified from a need perspective or from a training perspective. And we've been opposing it this week. We've had some great conversations, but now is a time that we need you to help out. Whether you're an eye physician and surgeon or not, we need you to use the action alert that we're going to be sending out to contact your legislator because constituent communication is important. We've talked about that many times before. So we're going to be sending you a new action alert. Many of you participated in the first one that we had this year that was a welcome back message. Now's that first time that we need you to communicate an action that we need the legislators to take. We're going to be focusing on the North Carolina House because that's where the bill is located right now and asking you to contact your House member. We'll have the email set up. Remember though, this comes from Muster, our new vendor that we're working with, and not the North Carolina Medical Society. So in the next two days, be looking in your spam folders, be looking in your auto-delete folders, wherever um, your trapped items go to, and make sure that you don't have an action alert from us trapped somewhere in your email uh, trash folders. Get that thing out if it is. Make sure it's approved so you'll get future ones from us. And then click through. Remember, we've made this as easy as possible for you to click through and communicate to your legislators. This is something where we need your help so that the ground team can have your voices combined with ours to make sure that your influence is occurring down on Jones Street. So look for that email, and we'll be back next week to bring you more updates uh, live. But in the meantime, be sure to also look at our legislative blog coming out every Friday that has more details about other bills that have been filed, summaries of those bills, and ways that you can engage with your legislators during this session. Have a great weekend.